All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enter some payroll information without having to switch to single user mode. Okay, so we can go up here to your lists and your payroll items list. All right, so if I go ahead down to payroll item, I'm going to add a new compensation item. If I choose the easy setup, which is recommended if you don't know much about payroll, okay, because it takes you through and it, and it pre-fills for you a couple extra settings, default settings of what is normal or what's the norm with payroll, okay? So if I choose easy setup here, I'm going to say compensation. It's going to try and go to that easy setup interview, payroll setup interview, but I can't do that in single user mode, I mean a multi-user mode. So I'm going to switch over back into here, and I'm going to choose new payroll and do a custom setup next. Still gives me the exact same options. I want to choose a wage hourly, salary commission, let's just go ahead and say salary, regular pay, overtime sick, okay, what's the salary item called, uh, management salary, next, which expense account does it go to, so we're going to leave it at payroll expenses and say finish, so it's going to add that item for me to the screen here without having to switch into single user mode, now you can do the same thing for taxes, all right, do a custom setup. Next, we're going to say, uh, instead of taxes, let's do a deduction. And we're going to say for uh, medical deduction. Okay. Do I want to track this expense by job? So you have that ability. So I can say, yes, I want to track it by job or no. Medical deduction, what agency do I pay? What is the uh, account number with that agency? Which payroll liability account should it be put into when I take it off of an employee's paycheck? Okay. This determines how it is tracked on tax forms, so like the W 2. So is this a non taxable sick pay, other, you know, a non qualified plan distribution, fringe benefits? So you really need to be careful of which one you choose here so that you know which box it falls into on the tax returns. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call it fringe benefits. All right, so it tells you here on the 940 that falls into line 3. W-2 falls into boxes 1, 3, and 5. So it increases the employee's wages. Make sure you know what you're doing there. If you choose other, notice that it goes into box 14. Okay, so it gives you all the information. If you choose the different tracking types, compensation, where does it fall? Um, so it gives you all the information here. Uh, to make sure that you're choosing the right tracking type. Then again, you have the choice what payroll items are affected by this for taxes. So perhaps it's not state taxable or perhaps it's not federally taxable, but it is state taxable. So you can change this appropriately. Okay. Now you do want to be careful with this, of course, because you need to make sure that you're tracking your expenses appropriately and you want to be sure to consult your uh, payroll advisor, your CPA, your bookkeeper who does your uh, payroll, or even into it directly. Okay, you can ask them some questions. Okay, do we calculate the deduction based on item quantity, based on hours? Okay, do I include sick and vacation hours on that, or do you do neither? So I'm going to say neither for now. Okay. Here you can enter the default rate if there's a default that you want to come through. So let's just say it's $100 that we just charge every employee, every payroll. Is there a limit annually, $1,200 because it's just monthly. This is an annual limit, so it restarts every year. And we can go ahead and say finish. Now it adds that payroll item here into my um, payroll item list. So those are just some quick ways to enter payroll information. You can't import it, uh, so you, you might as well go ahead in here into this screen versus going into the payroll setup screen if you know what you're doing with your payroll.